Hi, we are the K3, Jen, Marisa, and you. And every week we come together to talk live about the K-dramas we're watching, but we're in a bit of a K-drama drought. So this week we discussed Kingdom season one. We did a huge rewatch binge with our entire clubhouse. So join us and add your thoughts below in the comments. Marisa? Yes. How was your Kingdom rewatch? It was so good. And guys, can you believe that we waited over a year? Oh my God. I thought the exact same one? thing. Because it was such joy to be able to watch the first episode of season two, like after, at the end of season six, when it ended with that cliffhanger of all cliffhangers. Oh my God. Oh, oh my God. God. It was so amazing, right? So Coming yeah. through the mist. What? No. I gotta wait a year. Yeah. No. But then I stopped. I just watched the first yeah. episode of season two because that's what we're going to binge this week. But yes. yes, Kingdom, you guys. Oh my Lord. Oh, Gina, right? This is like, I think this is my third, this is my third rewatch of mm -hmm. Kingdom. Mm -hmm. Still so good. The storytelling is so tight. The acting is so good. Right, Gina? It is so good. Here, what? The soup was still horrifying. I oh, still was God. like, not it's the even soup, more. not the soup. But I understood a little, I understood the, this happened three years ago, mm. better now. Yes. Like no, having watched Ashen of the uh -huh. North now and understanding Sho Hukju, our <gasps> left minister. Right. And really understanding the depths of his depravity. Yes. More. So, <clears throat> well, I so think good. it came clear to me on this rewatch, jumping towards the end, mm -hmm. I didn't realize in my first, maybe I did, maybe I did, but it just didn't, I just have now like, aha, aha moment. I didn't realize that he infected all of Sanju. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Just to get at them. Mm hmm I know. Isn't that crazy? Oh, rewatching Kim makes me hate Paul. Yes, yes, absolutely. Calvin, and I was just reading an article from the writer, Kim Uni. Yep. She actually was saying that this whole the whole series is about politics. And so yes. that's her that's her whole basis. So yes, the fact that you hate politics, I think it was, yeah, that's that's her direction. Because it's awful. It's terrible. Yeah. Anything stick out to you that after watching Ashen in this one? After watching Ashen? Well, it makes me want to rewatch Ashen now as well, because the threads that the writer tied oh. together are so much clearer and yet watching it the first time i knew that it all made sense and that so here's the thing you we go in with a certain amount of zombie knowledge right, right? <laughs> that usually they rise when the sun goes down and, and the way she played with that but then knowing that they've mutated from ashen's time it's just like it's so clear and yet it also made sense when you didn't know ashen right exactly and i think for her because she seems to have written season one and season two as a whole, right? Mm -hmm. It looks yeah. like they just kind of uh, split yeah. it in half. But I'm always curious if the writer knows at the end, at the beginning. You guys, the first time we see the zombies fall into the water, the worms come out. <gasps> Oh, I didn't notice that. I checked it because I was really? like, I wonder if she planted this even then, and she did. Well, it's based on a web comic, so yeah. Maybe, the, but maybe, maybe it there. was there. But I still was, I was very oh, curious to see that. if they actually planted it there. And the worms came out of the zombies when they hit the oh, water. Yeah, I, have to go back I didn't feel bad for the upper class. Yeah, well, right. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Because it's also about hunger, right? Right. Oh. And how you control people through food is definitely a way taxation mm -hmm. you know a taxation with like just to benefit the wealthy it's all in there yeah and the thing that that's the thing i really noticed again is that the politics in this show the machinations are so well done because crown clown also good but yes. oftentimes not oftentimes but sometimes it's the weakest point it, it gets a little tropey so I mean, Kim Moon he mm. oh my God, such a phenomenal She's such a writer. writer. Let's see. A lot of people found stuff rewatching season one, like little clues and stuff yes. that was put into the show. Yes. yes. And it's just, it's so good. And I will say just from a story standpoint, and again, when we watched it the first time, you're like, and the crown prince goes from being the traitor to being yeah. the hero of the people. But it was really interesting watching on the rewatch to see where that happened happened yeah like he went he didn't go to dong to be a man of the people no he went to like figure out what's happening back so he can get his crown right, right. but then he gets there and he realizes that nobody is helping these people and so mm -hmm. i thought that was 
a really great moment. But the moment also when he stepped up yeah. was a small human moment. Yeah. It was lifting the cart that was yes. stuck. It wasn't a big Henry V uh -uh. moment leading the charge. It was literally, I can do this small thing and that will make a difference because I don't abandon my people. And he was like, yes, <laughs> right. He's becoming the king that we need him to be. Yeah, so, no. Yeah. And it was such, it was such a great scene. And I saw, I saw your question, Calvin. I'm going to get okay. to your quibble about the zombie because I, because again, it goes back to class and what's happening. Mm -hmm. But when Ju Ji Hoon was like, I will not abandon these people. <laughs> da, 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 I was just like, it was such a great moment. Yeah. It was the first time I think in that character's life that he realized that he could be a better person. Right. And right. And also, he had purpose almost. Yeah. That he could actually do something that made a difference to somebody else. Yeah. It was so good. Lifting a cart. Right. While a zombie horde zombie is, horde is coming. And his, and his, Oh, Muyan. Oh, Muyan. Oh, so sad. Anyway, uh, we'll get to that in season two. Still, I love him so much. Your <laughs> quibble, Calvin, oh. about having bringing a zombie onto a boat to escape. Right. Again, that was that crazy bitch's thing where she didn't want a hair on her only son in four generations, a hair on their head touched regardless of zombieification. Oh, yeah. And she snuck that zombie on. They didn't, I think she brought it on as luggage. Yeah. And that's that's why. So quibble, yes, but it was a plot point that the rich could do that. Yeah. And when they escaped, and mm -hmm. it was like it was kind of instant karma, they, which kind of was beautiful. But it's also, again, you know, it's kind of hard. It's not yes. hard, but in Asian culture, that your son is your future. Like he is everything, and it's played out with our left minister, mm -hmm. and it's played out with Juju Hoon's character, mm -hmm. and it's played out with the, the queen and her. Oh my god! Oh and my her, god! Her cadre of pregnant women. The son is he's so important. So that yeah, even if he's a zombie, he's even coming if he's with a you. zombie, come on, let's go. It'll be okay. It'll be fine. Yeah. So, but again, that it's that whole, you know, mm -hmm. where they wanted to separate. They were like going to separate the zombies. If they had silk on, they would be buried properly. If yeah. they didn't, they were going to, like, again, yeah. it's that whole class oh, structure. Oh, and our, uh, the director Cho, right, doesn't get his head cut off by his uncle at the end because now he's the only living male heir. He's so, such Can a we talk about it? He's such a fool, but he's I love him. He is so fantastic. I love him. Wait, wait, wait. Sobe, I wrote his name. Sobe, 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 Sobe. <laughs> Jun Soko is so yes. fun. He's such a fun actor. Yeah. And him and Juju Hoon have played together so many times. When they were in Hyena, Hyena. it was so great. I love so that funny. he is just this bumbling fool in in this whole thing and yeah. and Bay Duna, you guys. How can we talk oh. season one without talking Bay Duna? <laughs> Bay Duna is just a force to be reckoned with, even when she is a soft nurse, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, she steps up. She I defends him, that mag <gasps> magistrate Cho. She does. She saves his life. Right. But she, she also pushes him yeah. off because I think it's gonorrhea. Yeah. You know, it's like. So Bay Duna, so man. Like she just, she's strong internally. I mean, it's Bay Duna, so we all expect her to be like sword wielding and ass kicking. But she's just such a strong force regardless mm -hmm. of where you put her. So I think she's she's such a great character. And she's the smartest one there, for God's uh, sakes. Yeah. Listen to the woman. Good <laughs> God. Yeah. So you guys, you should watch, uh, oh, oh my God, oh, Extreme yes. Job was so good. He's so oh my good God, in that. So good. That show is, that movie. That film. Oh. We all went to see it. We were howling. howling. So it was so funny. Fun. Caitlin, if they make a special episode about the prince, I hope it's about... <gasps> yes. yes. You know what? I feel like that has to be it, right? Oh. Because they did a huge time jump. Wasn't it like seven years or something ridiculous like that? Marco's nodding. I think I'm... Did I actually get that right? Yes. Yes. Oh, mm -hmm. that's the... Exactly. It's like... Boom. <laughs> yes. But I don't, I don't know. Do we know what... The, what time frame they're focusing on? Oh, we don't know. No, okay. not yet. So mm. fingers crossed. Yeah. Right? Oh, so you guys. Okay. So because this was a lot of fun. Yes. <laughs> Let's do season two next week. Yeah. Does anybody have any final thoughts or any things that they kind of jumped out? Oh, I did have one other one. Our little sharpshooter. Yes. I feel like he was at the clinic originally looking for that doctor. Because I think that doctor is who helped wipe out his village. Oh, and I didn't notice that the first two times I watched it. But now that we know the backstory, he's got more going on in that story than I think we originally thought. Well, there it is. The K-Drama Clubhouse. Yeah. We've wrapped it up again. Mark your calendars. Next week, we're going to do a season two discussion. Mm -hmm. 
So you guys, again, if you enjoyed this, if you had fun with us, if you want to come back, please go ahead and hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. YouTube really likes that stuff. It's, you know, yeah. look, at, look at that fun logo we created just to <laughs> let you know about that. It's fantastic. It's yes. running a little long, but you know, I was, <laughs> I was working on it later. So anyway, with that being said, we have a better one that's a little cuter. <웃음> 자, 그러면 구독자님들, 구독, 좋아요, 알림 설정까지 부탁해요! 안녕! 안녕! 안녕.